What is cool about photosynthesis? Well, I think there are many things actually which are cool about photosynthesis, but I can guarantee you, or I hope I can guarantee you, that there is one aspect that you will like as well, at least one aspect. And I will bring this aspect, of course, at the very end of the video, so keep watching. Photosynthesis is using a gas which is present only in very small amounts in our atmosphere, carbon dioxide, and is converting this gas with the help of sunlight into sugars. And these sugars which are provided by photosynthesis are actually the basis, basis of our life. So our bodies consist to a large part um, of material made from these sugars. Um, there are other parts as well, there is much water in our bodies for example. Um, but the sugar is really a very important component of our bodies and therefore photosynthesis is um, yeah, providing the basis for our life. But it's also providing the basis for our life in another aspect because it's not only carbon dioxide but also water is used up in photosynthesis and in addition oxygen is produced. And this oxygen is essential for us as well since we need it for respiration. We have to breathe and we are using up the oxygen which is produced by plants. Therefore, um, photosynthesis is uh, yeah, supporting our life in two ways. So this importance of photosynthesis for our life, I would also, for me, it's sufficient to say it's a very cool process, but I can understand when you look at this equation that you see, say it looks very much like school and school is not cool. So maybe not everybody will agree with me that this is a very cool process. Therefore, let's go on to the next as aspect. The next aspect which is very cool about photosynthesis, at least for me, um, is that um, yeah, it is a very complicated process. Um, I will only show you a part of this process because it is so long and so complicated. And um, here I will show you um, the splitting of water into oxygen and hydrogen. The blue ribbon I have drawn in the center is a biological membrane. So this is separating the uh, oxygen which is produced from the hydrogen and hydrogen um, is not real hydrogen, it's only a sort of hydrogen. Um, maybe you all know that hydrogen and oxygen together, this would be very explosive um, mixture because hydrogen and oxygen, they um, yeah, will explode and that means they are storing a large amount of chemical energy and therefore it's uh, meaningful that these two compounds are separated by this membrane. And what I have indicated here with these arrows is a very complicated way of parts of this water to the outside hydrogen. And it's not hydrogen which is transported, but it's only the electrons from water which are transported across this membrane by very complicated path. And here I have shown added the protein complexes which are responsible for this transportation. And uh, this is a very rough simplification, of course. These complexes consist of many um, compounds, individual compounds, not only proteins, but also other complicated stuff. Uh, and it's uh, fascinating to see that such a complicated um, machinery is distributed so largely across our globe is, uh, and has become so successful. Um, just to show you, um, so there are scientists which are only occupying themselves with one aspect of this machinery, with one compound and for example for the first protein complex here, some people have uh, received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry just um, yeah, many years ago just for showing how it is composed of which components and how these components are arranged. I told you that um, oxygen and hydrogen, when they are separated, they contain a large amount of chemical energy. And this energy has to come from somewhere. And it is actually coming from light, as you all may know. Therefore, this process is called photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is able to transform energy from light, from the sunlight, into chemical energy. And this is the process which is doing this. And these two complexes, which I have labeled in green here, they are responsible for this transformation. They are absorbing light and are um, driving the flow of electrons through this chain, um, therefore allowing the formation of hydrogen in the end. Another way of um, storing energy in this process is the transportation of 
H plus particles, protons, um, across this membrane, which is done in the course of this transportation process. So um, these protons cannot go back by themselves. Um, and therefore, when this process, process is running, then a large amount of protons will um, accumulate on the lower side of this picture. And this also refers to some kind of chemical energy or of energy in general. And this energy then is used in another process with another protein complexes um, to actually generate chemical energy by transporting these protons back. And this chemical energy and the hydrogen in um, yeah, not real hydrogen. Um, both are necessary for then producing sugars from carbon dioxide in a later process. I will not go into detail about this second step of photosynthesis, but I hope I have demonstrated to you that, um, yeah, at least for some people, um, much interested in science and in yeah, complicated things, this can really be a fascinating topic and there are many scientists working actually only on one little protein component of this whole machinery. And one of the aim of these scientists is, of course, to um, be able to yeah, use this process for technical applications. And But I, I have the impression that plants, at least at the moment, are still far better than we are. Another cool aspect about photosynthesis is the fact that um, without photosynthesis, our planet would look pretty much different. Um, we, did, we wouldn't have green continents, so the oceans would still be blue because um, we still have water and water was around before photosynthesis started. But the continents would be pretty empty. There would be no plants on these continents, so they would be pretty dead. There would be some life inside the oceans, but this would be not so easy to measure from the outside or to, to observe from the outside. Uh, so actually it would be a pretty dead planet which we have. So we can say that photosynthesis really has uh, been the important factor of terraforming our Earth, making it into the planet we know today. And it's not only the green plants on the continents, it's also the presence of oxygen in our atmosphere uh, where photosynthesis is, is responsible for. And this oxygen is important in two aspects. One hand, of course, we need it for breathing, for respiration. Without oxygen, we couldn't exist. And the other aspect is that um, the special form of this oxygen, ozone, in the higher levels of the atmosphere, is protecting our Earth from UV radiation from the sun. And without this uh, ozone layer, life on the continents, as we know it um, actually would not be able to exist. So there are many aspects how photosynthesis hel has helped to make our uh, planet into a hospitable place. Another um, cool aspect of photosynthesis, at least for me, is the fact that photosynthesis gave rise to many different, very interesting, fascinating organisms. You all know about higher plants, which you see every day. Um, but there are also many microscopic organisms, which I um, give you a small selections here, which have fascinating shapes, um, very different shapes, um, living in very different places, and which also are very important for many ecosystems. So this is a um, further very cool aspect, and I will introduce uh, some of these organisms in more detail in later videos. Just imagine that you could um, take up photosynthetic microorganisms into your skin and um, use the energy they are generating to live from. And then you only would have to sit in the sun and would not need to eat much anymore. Maybe you should drink from time to time a glass with some minerals and some vitamins and maybe some nitrogen compounds, but that would be all. Um, you wouldn't have to eat anymore. And I think you most of you can agree with me that this would be actually a very cool um yeah cool thing if you could do this and um you just have you you may say oh that's difficult it doesn't work how how should i take up um photosynthetic microbes into my skin but there are many microorganisms around which are able to choose to 
to just this, like um, even a simple paramecium can harbor photosynthetic um, yeah, microorganisms in, inside his body and use them. And uh, why shouldn't you be able to do something which a par even a paramecium can do be doing? So this is my latest, my last, and um, I hope most generally accepted um, argument why photosynthesis is a very cool process. I hope you can agree with me that at least this last aspect is indeed cool about photosynthesis and that you enjoyed this video in general. Um, see you next time.